Okay, buddy, can I get this on there? Can you lift that? Can you lift that? Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, give it a. It's pretty good. You're a good, strong man. Thank you. It so often seems the way in Asia, when travelling by bus or boat, that they try and cram in as much as they can. Not just people, but water, foodstuffs, whatever. No space on the boat is left unused. And just when you think they can't cram in anymore, somehow they always find a way. I've witnessed some funny scenes over the years when a hot-headed western tourist gets so frustrated by the bus or boat refusing to leave until they can cram in as much as they can that he storms off before it begins moving. Well, it's his own fault for choosing the cheapest form of transport. And he also forgets that this is Asia and they do things differently here. <laughs> Hi guys, Steady Eddie here. It's 
So it's a mid-afternoon, it's November the 26th, and I'm on the island of Koh Samet in Thailand. Now, I know that it's, some people say Koh Samet, but I've seen a lot of signs that say Koh Samet, it ends with a D. So anyway, this is where I am. My little hotel is very, very close to the beach. Well, about five minutes walking distance. Uh, and this is where I'm headed today. I've never ever swam in the waters of Pattaya. People have told me not to. But I'm, I'm going to check the beach out today. Hopefully this is a better quality. Who the hell would want a monstr monstrosity like this in their home? Now, there are some nice little bars here. Nice little bars and restaurants and whatever. This one here, the Island Bar. I was in that one late last night. Very, very nice people. This one here is called Cafe Old Amsterdam Bar. Hello, hello, how are you? Bla blazing loud music in that one there late at, late at night, but it's a nice friendly atmosphere. So they're not far from my hotel anyway. Okay, so I'm headed down to the beach now. But before I get to the beach, I have to cross Checkpoint Charlie. Oh yeah, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. A nice little late night restaurant there. A lot of locals eating there in the early hours of the morning. I had quite a nice little meal in there last night. They're not really that great value. At a first glance, Kosamed is, you know, there's all kinds of hidden charges here. You, you'd even have to pay 20 baht to get on the island. This, you know, once you get off the ferry, never before have I been asked to pay 20 baht to actually get onto an island, but well, there you go. And as for the beach, well, you have to pay to go on the beach because it's classed as a national park. It's basically 200 baht for the pass that gives you five days of going down to the beach. I think that's of the daytime. I think in the evening, you, uh, the guards don't seem to be there, but 200 baht for five days and that enables us to go to the beach. Well, you make what you please of that, make what you please of it. You know, I'm not here to criticise. There you go, see if I can get a sneaky little shot of Checkpoint Charlie there, because I don't think, I'm not sure that they would welcome my camera. This is where you'd have to pay 200 baht, you get a pass, and it gives you five days access to the beach. Well, it's certainly got a nice ambience here. This, this little road here has got a nice island feel to it. I like it. There's another bar up there. We heard loud music come from there last night. I don't think this is the main nightlife centre. I haven't really checked the island out yet properly. Okay, so there's 7-Elevens here. But they do not supply you with plastic bags unless you purchase one. There's a couple of different bags you can buy from there. There is a 17 baht bag to carry your beer home in, or a more expensive one. They are, they're trying to make the effort to, um, to limit the amount of plastic on this island. Well, I suppose that's a good cause. There you go. Okay, I suppose this is the main little square. I've just got beyond Checkpoint Charlie. And the beach is down this way. I should say that I'm here for three days. The first day here was a bit lost because the, well, the scheduled 
two hours from my hotel in, in Pattaya to the hotel here. Uh, two hours it was supposed to take. It took four hours. Yeah, you know, the boat was delayed and the, the bus, the minibus to pick me up at the hotel was delayed. Then the boat, I was sitting on the boat for an eternity. Uh, so, supposed to be here at half one yesterday afternoon, got here at half three, so a bit late to really do a great deal. So, I'm here, so really I've got two full days here, so I'm going to try and make the most of them. There you go, they're making the effort anyway. They're making the effort. Oh, this has got such a nice, nice island feel to it. It's so nice to be away from Big Bad Bataya for a few days. It really is. Like I say, you know, a two-hour journey turned into a four-hour journey yesterday, so, uh, well, it is what it is. Samed Sansi over there. Samed Sansi Resort. The hotel I'm staying in is, it's, it's good. It's got, you know, it's, it's reasonably priced. It's in close proximity to everything that you need here. The only downside is that the Wi-Fi is a bit crap, but you can't have everything. Hello. You've got your typical beach, island, souvenirs here. You go anywhere in the world, you always see the same things. Well, I suppose that, you know, this is good for families, that place like this. Okay, now approaching the beach. I glimpsed it yesterday for a brief glimpse, but now I'm going to take a nice walk along the beach and a swim, of course. There we go. Kosamed Beach. Wow, just look at that. Beautiful white sand. Wow, doesn't this look good? Jesus, it does look good. Let's take a quick glimpse at this water here. See how different it is from Pattaya. Oh, it looks good. It looks damn good. Can't wait to get in there.
just been in that water and it is absolutely beautiful. It's just perfect. Never been in the, in the sea in Pattaya. People have told me not to bother. But um, when, when, you, when you come to an island like this and see that kind of water, you just can't help but go in. I went in there, had a lovely swim, feel all the better for it. Kosa Met has a beautiful beach with beautiful water. Well, I've arrived. I mean, here I am at a beautiful beach on a beautiful tropical island, and I'm just awestruck at the beauty of this place. Wow. It's winter back in the UK, but here it's a fantastic climate, and the scenery is just, well, what I ever thought an island would look like. I'll talk more about why I love tropical islands in the next video. I'll also include some more details of what this place is all about, some prices for hotels, food and drink, and a few nighttime scenes. So, tune into part two of Kosamet Island on the Steady Eddie channel, and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and press that all important notification bell. Have a great day, a great evening, whatever you're doing, and cheers.